so this is the lesson offenses against the state ibc chapter ibc 45 of 1860 so waging war offenses against the state includes waging war against the state against the government of india which is provided under sections 121 121a 122 and 123 or a friendly power which which is provided under section 125 so if anyone wages war or attempts to wage war or attempts the waging of war then he shall be punishable under the following section 121 provides for waging war or attempting to wage war or abating the waging war and the punishment of which is death or imprisonment for life or fine Section 121A provides for conspiracy, conspiracy for waging war or attempting to wage war or abetting the wage war. Conspiracy to commit the offense provided under section 121 for which the punishment is provided as life imprisonment and imprisonment up to 10 years and also fine. Then section 122 provides collecting arms and ammunition from the purpose of waging war. The punishment of which is imprisonment for life or imprisonment for 10 years or up to 10 years and also fine. Section 123 provides for concealing with the intent of facilitating the waging of war, which is the punishment for which is imprisonment for 10 years plus fine. So, section 121, 121A, 122, and 122, 23 deals with waging war against the government of India. These are falls under the category offenses against the state. Then comes a waging war against a friendly power that is provided under section 225. The punishment of which is life imprisonment or imprisonment for seven years and also fine. Then after this is the, in the case of R versus Jordan it is English case. It is the expression waging war is similar to the expression waging war in Indian Penal Code, which is an waging uh, war is an English expression. Then comes um, the this section deals with every description of war, including insurrections and invasion, and the number and manner of committing the war, the way they have uh, collected the arms and ammunition. These are and the number of people which involved in that offense is immaterial the only thing that is material is or the prime criteria for the offense liability in this case is the intention or the purpose intention implies the presence of the element of mansory and purpose what is their purpose or the common object Offender uh, may be Indian citizen or a foreign national or a foreigner. The offender may be anyone, Indian citizen or foreigner. And essential element, Edu, that means essential element of this offense is waging war or attempting to wage war or abetting the waging of just war. So, this is the waging war is also an offense, its attempt is also an offense or its abatement is also an offense under that section and b that war must be against the government of india goi means government of india then objected purpose what is the object of waging war the object sought to be accomplished is of public nature so first thing important essential this is also an essential element the object sought to be accomplished for waging war is of public nature i.e. that means this is not of private nature and it is a direct challenge taking the government uh, and its power and authority so direct challenge to the get government of india that means direct challenge against the government its power and also its authority and that is by use of force and violence the use of force and violence is also an important element in, in this uh, section waging war then comes so there are some cases are there which is basunir versus basunir versus basunir the state of taban core and coaching okay state versus muhammad afizal and others 
then GD Sharkar vs. Emperor and Kunhi Kadir vs. Emperor. And there are other cases are also there. Magandan Radhakrishna vs. Emperor, Barindra Kumar Ghosh vs. Emperor, and HS Jibhala. What is Jibhala vs. Emperor? So, how many cases are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, total of, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 cases are there, which is important. So, there uh, we can see the differences between waging war and rioting. Waging war is provided under sections 121, 121A, 122, and 123, and rioting is provided under sections 139. The object of waging war is of public nature, it is not a private nature, and the object of rioting is um, in this in the offense of rioting, four or more persons are involved here, and they, of course, use force and violence, and their common objectives, any of the object mentioned under sections 141, and that is. Their object is of private nature and not public nature. So, private nature or non-public nature. Then, in this, um, uh, in this, uh, under the heading waging war, there is an attempt, abetment, or conspiracy is also punishment. But it, in case of rioting, it is not so. And waging war is a continuing offense, waging war against the government of India or against any friendly power at peace with India is also a, is a continuing offense but rioting is not so so this is the basic differences between waging war and rioting there we can see uh waging war section 121 offenses against the state section 121 to 130 uh, then one waging, attempting or conspiring to wage war, collecting men and arm, executed wage war against the government of India, section 123. Then here we can see in section 124, war against an initiative power at peace with the government of India. Then we find a friend writing is also important. Waging war to come, uh, which is to verification studies against the government of India and be against a friendly power. So, in the case of Arvars in Jordan, waging war is that is same that of living war, the, an English expression. After this, here you can say essential features of waging war that is, the objects ought to be accomplished should be of a public nature and there must be a direct challenge taking the authority and power of the government. After this, here you can see sections 121, the section itself, waging or attempting to wage or abetting waging of war against the government of India. Section 121 provides that whoever wages war against the government of India or attempts to wage just war or abets the waging of just war shall be punished with that or embrace meant for life or shall also be liable to fine then there's we see the ingredients that is i have already mentioned in this uh, chart that what are those what are the ingredients of that waging war but i have not discussed the cases that is zd sharkar versus now i'm going to discuss cases zd sharkar versus imperial the accused veer sharkar published a poetry book gd sharkar versus imperial um, the accused Veer Shwarkar published a poetry book in which he exhorted the Indian people to raise sword against the raise sword against the white British rulers and drag them out of the country even by resorting to bloodshed if necessary. Through these poems, Swarkar wanted people to form secret nationalist groups and adopt guerrilla warfare technique to uproot British rule from India. The accused was held guilty of offense under sections 121 IPC or inciting Indian masses to wage war against the British rulers. So he was accused of, uh, he was held guilty of offense under sections 121 IPC or inciting Indians. It is the incitation. That means uh, it is abatement. Inciting Indian masses to wage war against the British ruler. And this comes under sections 121. Then another case is Kunhi Kadir versus Imperial held that the participations in the Khalifat movement were guilty of attempt to waging war. So this is an example of attempt. In the previous case, we find the example of uh, <coughs> instigation, inciting, that is abatement. Now we find this is the example of an attempt to wage war. In this case, uh, Kunhi Kadir versus Imperial held that the participation in the Khalifat movement were guilty of attempt to waging war under section 121 as the object of the mob was not against an individual authority, i.e. that means it was not of any public nature. 
for a particular purpose but to overthrow British government in power and that is also by use of force and violence. After this we find sections 121. Mm, I think there must be more other cases also. The district of versus superior. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, there are other cases earlier. So in Basunir and uh, Basunir, the state of Travancore and Cochin, that it is um, it was held that that it is not an offense to topple the government of the ruling party in power and bring about a change in political system by peaceful means. So this is this does not amount to waging war. What is not waging war? Now, what does not amount to the offense of waging war? Under this, we find a case Vasunir, the state of Travancore and Cochin, that it is not an offense to topple the government of the ruling party in power and bring about a change in political system. This is what bringing about a change in political system by peaceful means toward peaceful means is important here peaceful means but in a is an offense to, under these sections to, to forcibly recruit volunteers in large number and punishing those who refuse to join to overthrow the government by use of violence and force they will see the word peace as opposed to violence and force but in case of if he uses violence or force it will be an offense under section 121 but here they want to they want to change the political system by peaceful means or do you want to alter the existing government by peaceful means so that does not amount to waging war or an offense under sections 121 that is the case is basu near the state of Tavankor and kochi after this comes state versus muhammad afzal and others known as, known as attack on parliament case this case is very important here this case is also known as attack on parliament case this uh, words attack on parliament case is under the quotation so you have to write this also in under the quotation in exam so it was handed a full blood attack on the parliament when it is in session a full blood attack on parliament okay uh, when it is in session will indeed be an act of war against the government of india when the president of india is to address it and the entire executive and the legislature is present this solidary act by one man will be more devastating than one thousand men attacking the parliament and thus it will be an act of war so this is an important case uh, state versus muhammad afzal and others it is an example of an uh, offense um, example of a case which falls under section 121 attack on parliament case full blood attack on parliament when the entire the executive and legislature was present so after this conspiracy Section 121A that is conspiracy to commit offense punishable by section 121. So section 121 capital A, okay, this was inserted by Amendment Act. Conspiracy to commit offense punishable by section 121. Section 121 capital A lays down that where is where whatever within or without India. See this words within or without India. The offense may be committed within or without India means outside India conspires to commit any of the offenses punishable by sections 121 or conspires to overawe by means of criminal force or the show of criminal force the criminal force is used here okay overawe by means of criminal force or the show of criminal force the central government or any state government shall be punished with imprisonment for life or with imprisonment of Either description. Either description means it may be rigorous imprisonment or maybe simple imprisonment. Rigorous imprisonment means it is an imprisonment with hard labor. And rigorous uh, and simple is uh, without any hard labor, which may extend to 10 years and shall also be liable to fine. So here we see explanation and conspiracy under this section. It is not necessary that any act or illegal omission shall take place in presence thereof. Act or uh, illegal omissions is uh, shall not shall take place in person thereof it is not necessary that means the conspiracy itself is an offense and it is immaterial whether overt act takes takes pl place or not any act or illegal omission takes place or not it is immaterial the conspiracy itself is an offense under this section
This section was insisted. Explanation: A conspiracy under this section to register an extra video at any actor illegal omission shall take place in person's Europe. This section insisted, insisted, I mean, inserted in the panel code by Amendment Act 27 of 1870 because it is capital A, so 1870, and provides punishment for the offense committed under Section 121. Ingredients of the section. So, ingredients are uh, you can itself make ingredients from the section itself if you know how to read it properly. Following ingredients of necessary number one conspiracy within or without India to commit any offense punishable by section 121 or two conspiracy to overall by means of criminal force or short criminal force, the central government or any state government. It includes both central and state government. It may be committed within or without India. It is only conspiracy, not necessary that any overtake or illegal omissions will take place. That's it. After this, in the case of uh, Maganlan Radha Krishna versus Emperor. So, in the case of Maganlan Radha Krishna versus Emperor, the following characteristics of the offense were pointed out. One, any specific number of person is not necessary for commission of the, this. So, what does all in this case? Maganlan Radha Krishna versus Emperor. The following characteristics of this offense were pointed out. Number one, any specific number of persons is not necessary for commission of this offense. Uh, so, number of person is not necessary. One, two, three, four, five, six, not necessary, not important. Okay, two number of persons and means in which they are equipped is immaterial. So, number of persons means manner in which the offense was committed, and all these things are immaterial. Three the two true qua animo of gathering in history means gathering, they must be gathered, there must be pre planned or uh, something. The gathering is necessary. Then, four, the object of gathering should be to attend by force and violence. So, force or violence, these two are important words or keywords. Thus, uh, that uh, um, that is important force and violence. An object of general public in nature. The object is of general public in nature. Public, not private. Which is against the state authority. Which is against the state authority means the state authority includes both the government. State government, central government, parliament, legisl um, executive, legislature. Four, uh, five, every member will be equally responsible for unlawful act for the same offense. So this uh, arises joint liability or vicarious liability or group or constructive liability. Every member will be equally responsible for unlawful act for the same offense. Under this section, conspiracy itself is a crime. It is necessary to establish any illegal act or illegal omissions as a vertex of the conspiracy, the existence of which has to be established. The criminality of the conspiracy is independent of the criminality of the other act, as I have already mentioned. Mm -hmm. So the word conspires to overall by means of criminal force or show of criminal force. The central government or any state government clearly embrace not merely a conspiracy to raise a general insurrection, but also a conspiracy to overall the central government or any state government by the organization of a serious riot, rioting, or enlarged and tremendous unlawful assembly. So the word, and so these are the expression of certain words, right? The word overall clearly imports more than the creation of apprehension through alarm or even perhaps fear. It appears to connect the creation of a situation in which the members of the central government or provincial government think themselves compelled to choose between yielding to the force or exposing themselves or members of the public to a very serious danger. So overall means something more than the creation of apprehension or alarm or even perhaps fear. It uh, is not necessary that the danger should be dangerous as is an issue of bodily injury to themselves. The danger might well be a danger to public property or the safety of the members of general public. So the danger may be body, may be to the body, a person, or may it may be to the public property as well. A mere slogan shouting to change the government by armed rebellion will not amount to conspiracy to change the government. Mere slogan, okay? There is no element of force or violence or gathering or uh, any other thing which uh, any other independent mention above. Nor does it amount to overawing. The most, it may be treated as an attempt to convey to the public that the government can be changed only by use of force. This is a case three. Arvindan versus state. Then comes uh, in their case, in the case of Barinder Kumar Bhurs versus Imperial. It was proved by the prosecution that the accused, who are members of a secret society, were operating from Calcutta and holding meetings at different places, attending by known and unknown persons, conspiring to wage war against the British government. So they were conspiring, for which they had collected sufficient arms and ammunition. 
they were therefore held guilty of offenses under section 121 that is waging attempting or cons uh, abetting the waging of war 121 a conspiring waging of war 122 and 123 of ipc so after this Andrew case is there hr g Bhala versus Imperial, the accused from communist unions, communist, okay, the ideologies communist unions, on the Russian pattern, which owed allegiance to the Soviet Russia. The Court of Session convicted them under Section 2020, but an appeal, the High Court of Allahabad set aside the convictions and held that formations of unions on the line of another country by no strength of imagination constitutes waging a war against the government no stretch of imagination constitutes raising of war against the government then section 122 that is collecting arms subject to with intention of waging war against the government of india uh, section 122 provides that whoever collects man number one man second arms or amenunced or otherwise prepares to preparation preparation itself is an offense here to wage war with the intention of either waging or being prepared to wage war against the government of India shall be punished with imprisonment for life or imprisonment of either description for a term not exceeding 10 years and shall also be liable to fine. So, ingredients to ingredients of the sentence are as follows a intention to wage war against the government of India and b collecting of collection of collecting of arm, Armenian man or making preparation. Preparation in service and offense in this direction. The offense under section 122 is cognizable, means it is a serious kind of offense. non bailable means bail is a matter of discretion and not right. And not compoundable means it cannot be compromised in any way. And is triable by court of sessions. It is triable by court of sessions. Section 123, concerning with intent to facilitate design to which war. Section 123 lays down then waiver by any act or by any illegal omissions. So it includes both act and omission. Omission that is of illegal nature and not legal and lawful. Conceals the existence of a design to which war. Conceals means hides the existence of a design. Design means plan to wage war against the government of India. Against government of India includes both state government, central government, executive and legislation. Intending versus concealment to facilitate or knowing it to be likely that just concealment. Intending means the existence of the element of mansory. Mansory is present here. By such concealment to facilitate, facilitate or knowing the knowledge is there. Presence of knowledge is also um, um, indicates that it elements of mansory. It to be likely that just concealment would facilitate the waging of this war shall be punished with imprisonment of either description. Either description includes simple and rigorous both for a term which may extend to 10 years and shall also be liable to fine. Ingredients following are the ingredients of the sections that is concealment of a design to wage war against the government of India and the activist must have intention as well as knowledge. Intention and knowledge are two important elements of criminal liability which indicates the presence of the element of mansory that is evil guilty mind or evil intention to facilitate the waging of war that's it after that in the second uh, video i'm going to uh, make a bit tutorial on sedation which is section 124a uh, right now if you if my videos are good useful reliable helpful then please subscribe if not then do not subscribe thank you